Hi and welcome back. So we have started looking at arrays and in the last video we did a brief introduction of arrays. So let's say you wanted to declare an array in C++, this particular array, array of students that has six elements and the elements contained in the array are names and you know names will store them as strings. So if this was C++ you declare this array as a string so here we have the int, we have uh, the type. So you'd have the type here, type of the array. And then ID of the array. And then the size of the array. So our size, our array has six elements. And if you want to access our array, which is the student's array, that has six elements you want to access any element here let's say you want to access steve you would use the array name now the name and then the index location now the index location of this is three and if you want to access steve you'd use the name of the array which in this case is students so if you want to access it would be the name of the array which is students And then the index location using square brackets three. Now this will give you this. If you want to access the first element here, although it is at number one, we know array is a zero based, so you'll start from zero. The first element is at zero, so that means if you want to access the first element the index will be zero. So I just wanted to clarify that in this video, how you can access an array element. So these are the elements, anything that is within the memory location, that is the element, and you can access them using the name of the array and its index location. And arrays are zero based index. So if the number, if the number of arrays is six or even 10, the last array index of course will be nine if you want to access the last element in the array it will be the length of the array minus one and the first array you start counting from zero the second array will be one the third array will be accessed at index two so that's what i wanted to cover in this video and in the next video Let's look at an example in Java. So I'll see you in that next video.